All right, so now that I have this driveway roughed in, it's time to dig the trench for the electric. So the house is going to be going right in that area right there. And based on the distance from the street, we need to come back here with primary electric. So the transformer pad we decided is going to go right there. And I'm going to dig about up the center of the driveway. The electric pole is straight through there. So instead of making my trench curve with the driveway, I'm just going to go straight through the woods right there. So this is the pole I'm going to be coming off of. So I'm going to start right here with the digging. Uh, the code for this was three feet down. digging so far but I just finally hitting this big rock I think I can get it out though
this trench just finished up digging this trench so this spot is where the transformer pad and the meter stand will go and then then the uh, two conduits one for the cable and one for electric will go through this trench Okay, the electrician just finished hooking up the electric. Now this is a real good way to do this, to put the meter and main panel out on a post. Because that way the whole time they are building this house, they will have electric. Because, you know, when before the house is built, there wouldn't be anything to mount this on. Alright, so you got electric there. So this is where the transformer goes. The electric company comes and sets that. This wire here, this is the primary electric wire that comes from the street. Um, that I think that can run like almost any distance and it can feed multiple houses. This here is the 200 amp service wire for the house. Now if your house is close to the street, I think maybe two or 300 feet, you, you wouldn't need to run this primary. You could just run that wire. And then going up to the street, you have the two conduits. One for the cable wire, and the other one is for the primary electric service. And then the tape in there. So if anyone's digging in the future, they'll dig up that tape that says caution buried electric below. All right, so it's time to start back filling this trench.
a good tip in keeping because the whole point of this this tape is this caution buried electric below the, the electrician had it just laid in here that doesn't do any good it's supposed to be up at the top so if you're ever digging in the future you dig that up you'd know so a good tip for keeping it you know up in your trench other than having someone throwing it in the trench as you filling in the dirt which is a pain just just tie it to the roots and then that way you know it, it's right up top where it needs to be So I just finished filling in that trench. That went pretty well. The skid steer did a good job. So on the pole, this is what they want to see on this side. So here's the primary cable, all spooled up. It's got to be in this metal conduit. Here's the conduit for the cable wire. That can be plastic. And then uh, the electric company, they will they will take care of the rest of that. So they'll uh, they'll set that transformer. And, and hook up this wire and then give you the meter and then you'll have electric.